Hey, Joy Connectors, how are you? I'm back to talk to you about dreams today. So now we're going to talk about different types of dreams you can have. And I'm going to highlight three specifically. There's a whole host of different kinds of dreams you can have, but I'm going to talk about three that I get questions about most often. So here's the most common type of dream. This is the problem solving dream. This is when you're trying to work things out, okay? A problem solving dream occurs when you are ready to heal something. It comes up when you're ready to solve it and you're getting the answers, the solution to your problem in the dream. So again, take note folks, keep that journal next to your bed, make the notes every morning, you're getting the answers to your dream. The problem solving dream, I get these all the time. Don't always pay attention to the answer. So go back and flip through your journal and look through the previous days and see what comes together, see what's evolving in a pattern because it, it's there folks, I promise you, the answers are there, so make note. Another kind of dream is a recurring dream, right? So if you have those dreams that you notice, it may be monthly, it could be yearly, could be longer than that, you know, less frequently than a year even, but you have the same dream again and again, what does that mean? It means, pay attention, this is something for you to heal. You may not be ready to heal it yet, but that recurring dream, if we can parse out Tease out the symbols of what's happening there. This is something that you need to heal, my friends. So take a look. Make note of those recurring dreams. And when are they happening? Maybe it's happening same time of year. Maybe it's happening when you move, you notice. Or could be around an anniversary, perhaps. Important information. Make note. And the last kind of dream I'm going to mention, and as I said, there's many more, but here's the most other frequent one that comes up and I get questions about is nightmares. <sighs> so I had a ton of these as a kid and um, really what's happening in our nightmares, they're negative energies that we have stored and they come out in dream time. Let me tell you the most important information about nightmare, folks. You don't have to have them. You don't have to have them. So if you'd have a nighttime ritual, and I do recommend that you do, a time that you turn off the computer and any electronics, the television, the phone, put it away, that you get quiet. Maybe you have some tea, maybe you take a bath. Those are two of my favorite things to have at night before I go to sleep. You dim your lights. Um, before you go to sleep, I want you to say an affirmation. Maybe it's as simple as, tonight I'm going to have peaceful dreams. I will have peaceful dreams tonight. It can be anything um, that affirms who you are, that affirms the truth, um, that has a positive focus. That's going to help you to eliminate the idea of nightmares. And if you have a nightmare, you can ask for help. Ask for universal source to support you in this dream. Help, help me not to have this nightmare anymore. Help me to understand the messages that you're trying to tell me so that I can sleep and rest peacefully. So keep in mind, they're negative energies that you're just trying to work out. You don't have to have them. You don't have to be in them. There's ways to support yourself to deal with this stuff um, so that it's not torturing you at night. So just a few different kinds of dreams. So much more to tell you. It's so rich information about our dreams, and I love doing the dream work. Um, so find out more information on the blog, on the dream page, and I'll be talking to you soon, Joy Connectors. Much love. Sweet dreams.